Hello all, welcome to Acid Strength of Carboxylic Acid which is part 1. In this video we will just discuss the basics of it. First let us understand what is acid. Now regarding acid, anything that gives H plus ion in solution that will be considered as acid. Okay, very important. If it gives H plus ion in the solution, it is acid. Now regarding carboxylic acid, we have RCOOH. So we have only this hydrogen that can be given into the solution. Now if it gives H plus ion in the solution, if it gives H plus ion in the solution, only then this part will make it acidic which is the case carboxylic acid it is acidic because it can give H plus ion in the solution now the thing is that we have to check which is more stable is the carboxylate ion stable or this part it is stable if this is stable only then this will be produced and which will result in the formation of H plus ion so it is necessary that the carboxylate ion it is stable compared to this part that we will check why this part it is less stable than the carboxylate ion if i draw the carboxylic acid again we have double bond away with two lone pair of electrons and we have again two lone pair of electron h this is carboxylic acid now if i shift this lone pair of electron here and this double bond here to get a resonance hybrid okay to get a resonance structure we will get here it is as a negative charge because it is receiving extra lone pair of electron and here here we got extra additional double bond okay and here we are having H since this part lost one lone pair of electron this will be positive in charge now just imagine this is stable of course this is stable no problem in this now the thing is that this resonance hybrid uh, resonance structure is a stable that we have to check what is the charge on hydrogen it is positive that we know it's positive now see two positive they come in close proximity that's why this structure it is less stable why less stable because there's a plus charge here and the hydrogen is also plus charge here. so this makes it less stable so now we know that in carboxylic acid the entire structure when you get the resonance structures one is stable the another is less stable because of plus charge over here plus this one and h, h is also positive that's why it is less stable now let us consider only the carboxylate part now carboxylate part it is produced only when it loses H plus suppose we lost H plus in the water which makes it acidic now let me draw the structure for carboxylate we have lone pair of electron here two lone pair and then one more this makes it negative this is carboxylate ion now what will happen one lone pair of electron falls here this double bond falls as lone pair on this on this oxygen and we get a resonance structure which is here as negative and here there will be no charge now if you are carefully observing both are same and both are stable in this part the carboxylate part both the resonance structures are stable since both the resonance structures are stable in solution this species is uh, dominant and it exists since this species exists so the the solution will have always have h plus ion in the solution which makes things acidic why carboxylate groups are as acidic because it easily gives h plus ion in the solution and also this is produced because both these structures are stable it is very important now let us discuss for aliphatic monocarboxylic acid what will be the effect of the substituents now in this case suppose I draw carboxylic acid the resonance hybrid of it I have partial negative charge here or partial negative charge okay and 
the double bond it shifts here so this is the resonance hybrid now what happens it gives h plus ion in the solution since it gives h plus ion in the solution because of this factor it is acidic in nature now what will happen if i have electron donating group here if i am having electron donating group attached to this part so what will happen it will donate the electron towards this carboxylate anion this hybrid structure now what will happen it will increase the electron density here hope i am clear electron donating group it gives electron to this carbon or to this structure thereby increasing electron density here now what will happen since the electron density is increasing this will try to attract h plus since it tries to attract h plus towards itself in water it will not release it easily since this part it is not easily released in the water this will become less base less acidic why less acidic because the electron donating group donates electron here increases the electron density it tries to attract the positive charge the increased electron density attracts a positive charge so this will bind with this part and this part is no longer it will be easily available to the water therefore it will become less acidic now what will happen instead of electron donating group i have i have electron withdrawing group okay if i am having electron withdrawing group so let me ignore this part so electron withdrawing group what it will do it will try to remove the electron density towards itself since it removes electron density towards itself so instead of increasing the electron density it will decrease the electron density it will decrease the electron density here since the electron density is decreasing here it cannot attract h plus ion that much so h plus ions it will not get attracted here it is freely available to the water it freely it goes into the water therefore making it more acidic i hope things are uh, clear electron withdrawing group withdraws the electron density towards itself so density here of the electron becomes less it can no longer attract h plus in a stronger way so this will be more acidic more acidic because h plus ions easily goes into the water that is the definition of uh, strong acid and weak acid if it is easily available to the water it is more acidic if it is not easily available to the water or to the solution it will becomes less acidic some of the electron withdrawing groups that i can mention cf3 is very strong electron withdrawing group next comes no2 next comes the cyanide next comes the fluorine next comes fluorine okay and so on and then we have i then we have ph okay just remember this more the stronger electron withdrawing group if this group it is attached here this will be very acidic if this group it is attached so compared to this part this will be producing less acidic so this if this is part is attached less acid acidic if this part it is attached this will be more acidic which among these will be more acidic that we will check now this is formic acid acetic acid we have propionic acid now just remember here we are having h attached to the carboxylic acid here we are having methyl group attached to the carboxylic acid here we are having ethyl group attached to the attached to the carboxylic acid now the alkyl groups alkyl groups are electron donating group they are electron donating group here cs3 cs2 is bigger than cs3 so electron donating capacity it is more for this case if it donates more electron density towards this part so this will be the least acidic this will be the least acidic because cs3 cs2 which is bigger alkyl group it donates more electron density towards coo making it least acidic now this is cs3 only methyl group attached to carboxylic acid 
so lesser electron donating capacity compared to this so this will be lesser lesser acidic in nature what, what about this the formic acid this one is having h plus so it is not having the plus uh, the electron donating capacity so this will be the most acidic compared to this part now what will happen in this case here we are having acetic acid here we are having monochloroacetic acid here we are having dichloroacetic acid and in this case we are having trichloroacetic acid now what you have to remember it is chlorine it is electron withdrawing group and electron withdrawing group increases the acidic character the electron withdrawing group they increase the acid character this is very important now the next part it is here we are having no chlorine here we are having no chlorine so this will be the least acidic this will, will be the least acidic here we are having one chlorine here we are having two chlorine and here we are having three chlorine so this is least acidic and because here we are having three chlorine the pull towards itself will be the most making it the most acidic followed by this part because we are having two chlorine the pull of electron density towards itself will be lesser compared to this and then the middle part this will be with the least acidic followed by this okay so the le least acidic here and the most acidic is this part so as the halogen halogen atom it increases in number acidic character will also increase now what will happen in this case which among these three will be more acidic now in this case we have carboxylic group here the chlorine here it is attached to the first carbon in this the chlorine it is attached to the second carbon in this the chlorine it is attached to the third carbon now as the chlorine as the halogen they move far away its electron withdrawing capacity decreases it if it is going far further away the electron withdrawing capacity decreases and it will become least acidic as it is far away since it is very close to this carboxylic acid electron withdrawing capacity it is more so this will be the most acidic this one will be the most acidic followed by this because chlorine it is at the second position so electron withdrawing capacity will be there but not as compared to this part so this is most followed by this since the chlorine is very far away at the third carbon this one will be the least acidic so the position of halogen also matters closer to the carboxylic group it will be more acidic if it is very far away from the carboxylic acid it will be least acidic what will happen in this cases which among these four will be more acidic and which one will be the least acidic so just remember if the carboxylic group if the carboxylic group it is attached to sp carbon it will be the most acidic followed by sp2 followed by sp okay so sp followed by sp2 followed by sp sp hydro carbon if you are attached to sp carbon so it will be most acidic followed by sp2 sp now here hybridization it is sp so this one will be the most acidic so this one will be the most acidic here the hybridization it is sp3 check my hybridization video if you are not sure about how to get the hybridization so here it will be the least acidic the next part here this carbon it is sp2 and this carbon also it is sp2 but here it is aromatic ring since the presence of aromatic ring this will be more acidic when you compare it to the the acrylic acid so this will be more acidic compared to both are sp2 but because of the presence of the benzene ring it cannot donate the lone the electron from here to the carboxylic acid because it will destroy the aromatic ring 
So compared to these sp2 carbon, this is more acidic. Followed by this, followed by this. So just remember, sp carbon if carboxylic acid is attached to this carbon, this will be the most acidic. If it is attached to the sp3 carbon, this one will be the least acidic. When you compare the benzoic acid and the acetic acid, here it is sp2, so more acidic. Here it is sp3, so it is least acidic. Now what will happen if you compare this part, these two, and third I can take as formic acid. So which among these two, one, two, and three, which one will be the most acidic? It is this part because it is not attached to any uh, any hybridized carbon. So this one will be the most acidic when you compare these three. So this is most acidic followed by benzoic acid, which is attached to the sp2 carbon followed by acetic acid. Another thing, please remember the peroxy acids, the peroxy acids, they are weaker acids, weaker acids compared to compared to the parent uh, corresponding parent acid. This is very important information. The peroxy acids when compared to the parent acid, it is less acid. You can uh, compare this or you can remember this part if you want to know. This one is the most acidic followed by this and this one will be the least acidic. In this video we will take up aromatic carboxylic acids. Okay? Yeah, bye bye.